love. <laughs> love drives us crazy. It makes us do stupid, dangerous things. Love is a disease. And since I'm now here, I want to confess. Confess that I'm madly and deeply in love. In love with my cat, Boris. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Our love was perfect until Boris met someone else. It all started when Boris got slightly sick. He had a parasitic infection. I actually think that the Boris is a parasite himself because he only eats, sleeps, and plays around. But at the time, he got infected with toxoplasma, a tiny parasite that wanted to live and multiply inside the guts of Boris. Boris wasn't really happy about it, so he decided to get rid of the parasite by pooping it out. But Taxoplasma really, really wanted to come back. So it waited for the Boris's mortal enemy to appear, Mr. Mouse. When it got inside the mouse, it needed to convince him to go find Boris. And for that, it developed a very, very evil plan. It migrated into the brain of Mr. Mouse and forced neurons to produce dopamine, the molecule which is responsible for feelings of excitement, joy, and love. So Mr. Mouse became very happy and romantic, but still he didn't want to go find Boris because mice have an innate fear of predators. If they smell them, they run away. So parasite accumulated in a special region of the brain which controls fear and anxiety and totally messed it up. So instead of being afraid, Mr. Mouse became very, very attracted to cats. <laughs> All he wanted is to run into Boris and make sweet, sweet love. Boris was very surprised. <laughs> he just opened his mouth and let Mr. Mouse run there. Love became deadly. Certain parasites are able to control behavior of their host in order to ensure that their life cycle gets completed. But what if parasite doesn't get inside the mouse? What if it gets inside us, people? In fact, one third of the world's population, well, you included, are positive for Taxoplasma. Look, I'm not saying you ate a cat's poo once, OK? <laughs> and even if you did, it's fine. UK is a free country. <laughs> but probably you got it with undercooked meat or unpasteurized milk. Our immune system is able to protect us, but some parasites may remain in our brain. Do they affect our behavior? Still not fully understood. Do they make us love cats? Well, with me, it's fine, but remember, Boris is mine. 